So boys and girls, it's Monday the 13th of May. I'm your host Thomas Adams and this is the Game Zone News Recap. Our top story of the day features a whole six minutes of gameplay footage from Watch Dogs. The footage itself spoils none of the backstory, plot or anything like that, but instead focuses purely on the side missions and the different ways you can obtain and complete them. For example, you can hack elevators to distract guards, hack doors, cameras, in fact, you can pretty much hack anything to use to your advantage. The only thing that's starting to worry me about this amazing looking game is how big those goddamn icons are. I hope there is either a hardcore mode with a reduced HUD or that the icons get turned down because I don't want to play the game of Chase the Icons. Now Watchdog is due out late November and I cannot wait any longer. Our next story is yet another highly anticipated game known as Assassin's Creed 4. It is well known that the Assassin's Creed series is based around real history in mind and Assassin's Creed 3 had the American Revolution as the backdrop. Today we learn how Black Flag incorporates the golden age of piracy. For any Assassin's Creed fans, I have no doubt that this video will get your mouth watering but yet I still want to see some gameplay of this game. With a trailer released almost one year ago, Among the Sleep has always been on my radar as walking around as a baby while being scared by monsters sounds totally awesome and definitely will make a certain YouTuber tons of money. It would appear they have just 5 days left to raise an additional $20,000 to help with their production and they're giving out a free demo tomorrow for everyone to enjoy. All you need to do is visit their Kickstarter page tomorrow at 2pm Eastern Time and have fun and of course if you enjoy the demo, man, just drop them a few bucks. Our last story of the day involves a game that I've been really enjoying over the past few months which is of course Guild Wars 2. During NCSoft's recent earning report they revealed that the first expansion for Guild Wars 2 is already underway despite them saying they weren't working on one back in March. Additionally within the earnings report Guild Wars 2 made up 21% of all sales while Lineage came at 28% and Aeon came at 16% with a few of their other titles with the lower percentages. Oh and yes those stats are correct, Lineage did make up for 28% of all sales during their first quarter. Does anyone want to explain to me how that game still makes lots of money? Remember that you can check out the latest news on www.gamezone.com. I have been your host Thomas Adams and this has been the News Recap.